Fortunately, there is another alternative that gives you even more control, and that's making your own custom height maps. They work in the same way as height maps in most other software, where black is the lowest point and white is the highest point. To demonstrate, I'll once again use the smiley face. But this time, let's say that I want the mouth to be the lowest point. Then I want the yellow body to be a kind of raised dome shape. Then I want the eyes to be concave divots into that shape. Here's how to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is add an ellipse that matches the size of the yellow body. I'll turn off the stroke, and then I'll make the fill a radial gradient. Remember, I want this to be a dome shape, and black is lower than white. I want the entire thing to be slightly raised, so I'll set the edges to be a dark gray and transition to white in the center. Now I'll do the same thing for the eyes, but inverted so that the edges are white and the center is dark. That will make them concave. Finally, I'll add the mouth I exported before. I want this to be the lowest part and flat, so I'll keep it black. Now I can turn the opacity back to 100%, hide the original image layer, and export it as a PNG. When I open the smiley face in Eufy Make Studio, I can click Customize Texture and import the height map I just made. You can see that it has the texture I wanted because the height map told Eufy Make Studio exactly how much to raise each portion of the image. Mm -hmm.